The gardener picks up the last lotus flower from the pond and puts the lotus in the lake with other lotuses during the Tet celebration. Out of many lotuses, only one beautiful white one stands out of the others. The lotus flower is Vietnam's national flower, and it's very important to Vietnamese culture. The lotus grows in muddy water. Mot, hai, ba, yo! People are enjoying their delicious, traditional Vietnamese food like lotus desserts, lotus seeds, and lotus tea by the pond. Oh, they use it for a lot of different things. Um, with the flower, they make tea. And with the bud, after the flower's been bloomed out, they eat the little lotus seeds. Uh, they eat the stem of the lotus and the root of the lotus as part of different kinds of cuisine. But the beautiful lotus flower might be in danger. In Vietnam, many people are not thinking about getting rid of their trash properly. People are disposing of plastic cups, bowls, and plastic bags, and they are ending up in lakes and ponds. Also, Vietnam is growing very fast, and a lot of buildings and shops are going up, so water pollution and land development are a clear threat to the lotus flower. Lakes are slowly starting to fill up with trash and the water is getting dirty. Lakes are being destroyed because of the construction. People are starting to clean up the lakes, but it is very challenging. So the lotus flower is decreasing in Vietnam. But the lotus flower still has hope. The government can make laws that say people can't sell food or eat near the ponds. Also, people can add signs near the ponds that warn about polluting the water. Additionally, we should keep some of the nature instead of building over the ponds. If we make better choices, then the lotus flower will remain sustainable.